right. Uh, but slowly, things were coming, but very slowly. And it was decided that the first doctors talked to the second doctors, uh, the ones at uh, the hospital talked to the doctors in the rehab center, and it was really decided that I should have a heart transplant, heart and lung transplant, in order to live. Mm. And someone said that to me, and I just looked up and I said, no, no, no. Somehow, deep inside of me, it was a no. There was no other That's right. questions or answers or anything. Yes. So anyhow, they decided to send me to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, uh, to a really good heart transplant hospital in case I would do it. Uh, I was life lighted up there. Uh, they did many, many tests there. But one wonderful thing these doctors did they got my medications. They had been trying different medications to see how my heart would be, and my heart just inside me, my heart felt like it was going to fall out. Mm. If I turn a little bit, I think, ooh, it's going to move. Mm. It's moving. And it just didn't settle. It didn't fit, seem to fit in. Uh, I didn't know what was going to happen with it, but whatever happened was really all right. I just didn't like the feeling. Yes. Uh, so anyhow, uh, while I was... Uh, in the Pittsburgh hospital, they got my medications regulated. I was put on 11 different meds and a, a nitro patch. And I could feel after about three days or four, I felt like my heart settled down. Mm. I didn't know what was going on, but it was, it just wasn't as, it, it moved like it was dead and didn't, couldn't stay in place. It felt like it was settling down, settling mm. in. And I, st I could walk a little bit around my room. I started to eat just a little better. Uh, they, even before I left, took the oxygen off of me. My blood gases had come up high enough, not enough that I could really run or anything like that, and never would with the condition my lungs were in. Uh, but they said, well, we have done everything. You go home and you eat as whatever you want to, and you rest and eat and rest and eat. That was it couldn't go to my own home because there were steps I couldn't get up. And so I went to my dad and stepmom's home. My husband had visitation rights, by the way. Okay. <laughs> Anyhow, he would come up and see me every day and whatever. But And I was fed very well. I ate very little. Mm. Uh, but I could. I, my orders were to walk around the inside of the house three times, morning, noon, and night. And I did that exhausted me, totally mm. exhausted me. Uh, and I laid the rest of the time. Uh, about a week later, I was strong enough, and I knew it, that I could walk up those stairs. So home, my husband took me home, and I wasn't allowed to do anything then. I had seen the doctor in the meantime, uh, except get or serve meals. I wasn't allowed to cook. I wasn't allowed to do the dishes. Isn't that awful? <laughs> Anyhow, the church supplied everything for wow. one month wow. for us to eat. Praise what a God. wonderful, wonderful one. thing that was. That's the body of I, Christ. Exactly. And so, anyhow, there I am at home. Uh, still, my lungs are horrible. And I'm not walk. I'm walking a little bit out in the front yard and just, just, Go moving along very so slowly like a little old lady from Pasadena. Uh, I was feeling better. I knew Jesus was with me. All the time. All the time. It, I could say Jesus, that it was like he'd say yes, and then I'd just talk with him. Yes. And I, he would answer me, and it was just, just like this all that time. Mm -hmm. All during the recovery, even after I came home, it was exactly like that. Um, anyhow... Uh, there I was, and six weeks later, I was able finally to go to church. I mm -hmm. had enough strength to go to church. Okay. Went to church, looked up, and there's a, a different pastor in there. I, he was an evangelist, and I can't remember his name. Anyhow, uh, after the songs had been sung and, sung and the worship was over and, and the collection taken up and the announcements were made, the... Uh, man was introduced and he said I'm going to do something a little different today I don't know if you've ever done it but I'm going to do it this way 
He said, I'm going to ask anybody.